beginning of new video. This frame here, which is the frame that this green truck was on, is almost identical to this frame here. This frame has this here where this dump body mounts. This frame has the same thing except these little pieces would have to be bent. You notice how these little pieces where this thing goes right here are bent in? Well, these little pieces are the same. They'd have to be bent in order to fit that. It would be easier to drill an axle hole on the back of this frame on the back of this frame. In other words, rather than bend this up, take this off, move it over here, if I just drill an axle hole, if I measure careful, I go back here and I drill an axle hole right about there, which is right about where it's at on the back of this frame, and just move this axle back, then I don't have to even take that off of that frame. And then I can put this truck on this frame, and Luke wants me to make him some mirrors, and, oh, and he wants me to make a wrecker body. He didn't ask me to make this, but he said he wish he had one, because... I think it used to have one, so he wants a wrecker body made for this truck, which is doable. And then this truck here, we're going to do something with too. But all of that is aside because I'm so excited about my new lug bolts. My new lug bolts got me all excited. So I'm going to get my arrow compressor running and get my arrow gun out. And we're going to put them new, new lug nuts on the Jeep. Oh, and, and some other things. Uh, while I was in Georgia, uh, uh, I'm having a mind blank on his name. Uh, 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 I hate when it happens. The guy I went to a car show with down in Georgia that lives down there. Uh, Dale, uh, I want to say Dale, but Dale's a guy down in Florida. Anyway, uh, he brought up the torch that I got. It's like the one that 63 Impala has. And he was mentioning something about it, and I told him that these lines had rusted out, rusted out, had rotted out. These were brand new lines I bought when I bought that torch. I've only had it a few years, and they've sat here and rotted. So he said, well, I got some lines I'll give you. And he got me thinking, I've actually got some lines too here. I've got some old lines right here. I, don't know, I think there's a pair there. They're probably the old ones are better than the new ones. But anyway, I've been thinking about taking this set up down to Georgia. Now, the problem with doing that is it's kind of biggish, and it kind of takes up a lot of space in the car, and we'll be going down in the Prius, so I might not take it to Georgia now, but I might take it to Georgia later when I take a Jeep down to Georgia later, so anyway, there's all that too. So, I think that's enough of a preamble to my constitution here. I think I can get on with the uh, First Amendment, which for me is lug nuts. The First Amendment in my constitution this day is going to be about lug nuts. Of course, I've lost my little homemade camera stand, which I was so proud to be waving around yesterday, and now today I can't figure out where I put it. That's how I roll, buddy. I've also lost my other camera case. i got a camera case for this camera. It looks like this. It's lost, too. It might be out here somewhere. Sometimes when I lose something, I run across it later. It's out here somewhere where I was you know you and sometimes when I just go back and retrace my steps from where I am to where I was sometimes I just run across things so I'll stop talking now I'm gonna turn on the arrow corn presser I'm gonna set y'all up in a careful kind of way so that you won't fall off hopefully and then I'll uh, I'll get busy getting them old lug nuts out getting them new lug nuts back in and life will just be glorious glorious I say it'll be glorious amen